all right guys welcome to the 36th video and uh guys sorry if you know i sound a little funny in this tutorial because i got a strawberry in my teeth because you know i decided that i needed my fruit servings for the day so i had a strawberry pop tart but anyways that's not important what we are here to do is set the user and make them able to log in so we already pretty much have the interface taken care of now we just have to take care of the code and guys you guys are going to love me because I'm gonna cheat big time now check this out what the register page did and I know I'm talking about the register page is it basically took a bunch of form input and it submitted it and with that input it ran a little bit of code in this case register the user well the login page is gonna do a lot of the same thing the user needs to use a form it needs to validate the username and password and then once that information is validated then it can run just a little bit of code so what I'm gonna do is this check it out for this if is set form this is all your form handling script right here so this is another cool trick whenever you just click right here in PHP you see this curly bracket how it turned red if you scroll all the way down the ending curly bracket that uh, you know what's it called syncs up with it I guess is the best term terms turns red as well so go ahead and select all of this form data and copy that and once you have that copied you can go ahead and close out of the register.php page because we are done using and abusing it we just needed to use it to steal its crap now check it out paste all of that information in here so pretty much right now we have the register.php form handling in the login.php page however even though they're similar they aren't the exact same the first and major difference is while the login page does work with the username and password you don't enter your email whenever you log in so that's what we need to do first take this email validation out of here completely now if you take a little bit closer look all of this code is perfect already it says okay whenever you submit the login form we're gonna build that error array and we're gonna validate your username and password just like we did the with uh, the register page but instead of running all this code because all this code right here is what you want to happen whenever you have a new user and they register for the website for the first time so go ahead and delete all of that and well we might as well add a little comment because login code here so this is pretty much the only code that we need to change with one exception and that's this thing right here if I am correct then prompt actually let me just go ahead and open this real, real quick because I kinda of forgot what is this x equals 2 yep right here this error message is specific to the register page that email address or username has already been registered so obviously we need to change this error message right here so what's gonna happen is we want to change this error message just to say okay if you messed up the login form we'll just give them a simple message that says username or password is not correct you are unable to log in or something like that so what we need to do is of course echo out an error message now we don't use the echo statement because that was just printed out on the top of the screen above all the HTML what we need to do is we need to set that error message equal to a bit of code so go ahead and just copy that I probably shouldn't have even copied that but anyways and uh, span class error and and that span and I probably should have some breaks at the end should I yeah I probably should and I'm just doing this again because that error message that we had before was specific to the register page and this one is for the login page so what do we want to say if they mess up let's just go ahead and say um, username or password is incorrect and this is the message that can, is going to pop up if they mess anything up so again unlike before where if their username and password were valid then we ran the code to pretty much register them for the website what we want to do in this instance is log them in so how do we log a user in to use the website well the very first thing we need to do is we need to query the users table because that's where all the permanent users information is now 
if they already are registered for the website, then their username and their password should be in that users table. So let's go ahead and make a result variable. And this is going to be equal to, you guys have probably seen this before. Actually, I should probably copy it. I'm way too lazy. Okay. <laughs> this is like ultra laziness right here. I can't even like type one line without having to copy it. All right. So instead of this little query right here that I copied from register.php page, what I'm going to do is query the database, select all from the users table where the username is equal to whatever username they entered for the login page. I'm basically going to say query the users table where users username is equal to Bucky and password is equal to password. Now hopefully we should only get one result back because you know more than one people can't have the same username. So let me just do a little copy and paste in here where username is equal to the username they entered and password is equal to the password they entered and hopefully if any if everything ran successfully we should get one row of information back we should get 